Hello everyone, welcome back to Student Future channel. In today's video, I will guide you how to apply for University of Padua. As you know, 2025 intake scholarships are open in this university. So if you want to know how to apply for this scholarship at this university, then this video is for you. So let's start. Here is the official website to apply for this university. I will add the link into the description. You can directly open the website by clicking at the link. So when you will open this page, here you can see if you want to study in English, the complete method how to apply is already given. So first of all, you can apply for MBBS, medicine or surgery as well. But the process is little bit different. I have already explained the requirements about how you can study MBBS in Italy. You can watch my other video. I will add the link into the description as well. Now, if we talk about other degree programs here, when you will click on step by step procedure, each and every detail will be mentioned here. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to choose your degree program. For this purpose, simply click at this link and open it. So if you want to know which degree programs are available, you can open this website for bachelor's degree. School of Agricultural Sciences and Veterinary Medicine, School of Engineering, Psychology, School of Human and Social Sciences and Cultural Heritage, School of Science. All of these departments are for bachelor's program. If you want to do bachelor after your intermediate, then if you want to do master or single cycle degree. Single cycle degree means after your intermediate or after your higher school degree, you can uh, do bachelor and master together. This is known as single cycle degree. So if you want to do master or single cycle degree, all of these departments are available. Almost every department is available at this university. So you can go through this, just select your program or department and then you can apply. For example, in school of science, I want to study physics. So I have selected physics department. Now go back. The next step is you have to prepare your required documents in PDF format. We will discuss which are the required documents as well. Then you have to register on apply dot university of Adwa dot it by clicking on become an applicant and filling in the form so for this purpose when you have to start your application you have to click at this link open this link into new tab and by using this link we will apply our application for university of padua so we will discuss this also next is when you will register you can apply for up to three degree programs so you can select three degree programs and you can apply for three degree programs if you want to apply for different programs at this university but you don't have to register more than once by using different email addresses otherwise your application will be rejected next is there is the application fee that is 30 euro after submitting your application just wait for the evaluation feedback if you applied for a degree program with an unlimited number of places, you will be notified of the evaluation via the application platform. So by the, your application platform, you will be notified your status, either you have successfully got the scholarship or not. Okay. Then if you have applied for a degree program with a limited number of places, then you have to check the admission results. Next is in order to complete your enrollment, follow the instructions provided how to enroll section. So you can learn by using this link. Next is if you don't know how to pay the application fee, you can simply download this document and by this document, you can get step by step procedure how to pay application fee. So I will open this document in front of you. Okay, so here is the document here. The step by step detail is already given. You have to just follow and then you can pay your application fee. Some students after submitting the application fee they don't know how to fill the application fee so usually in their website you can get the procedure how to pay the fee most importantly for international students i think paypal option is the best as compared to pagopa or credit cards so paypal option is good otherwise you can follow this procedure as well next step is timeline you can check the timeline for this scholarship for example now the first call of 2025 is open and for the first call the deadline is 2nd february 2025 
if you don't apply for the first call then the second call will be open by the march and the deadline is 2nd may and the third call will be open but this is for european citizens or non european citizens that are residing in italy so you can apply for first call and second call as international student now let's move back to the required document that is the most important thing you have to know which documents are required so first of all if you are applying for bachelor's degree program then the important document is your cv that should be in english then a motivational letter transcripts of records it means your school degree and your college degrees then upper secondary school certificate achieved after at least 12 years of school attendance so you can get this certificate from your college next is certificate proving the completion of one or two years of academic studies or post secondary qualification or a foundation course qualification you need this document only if you are applying for a bachelor's degree program and you do not have a minimum 12 year school record but mostly every student have 12 year school studies then this document is optional for you next is certificate of entrance examination to assess university mostly countries offer this document for example spain china brazil so this document is for these country students next is you need your passport for international students passport is required for european students valid id card is required next is italian residence permit next is english language certificate or other language certificate no this is required depends on the degree program but in this case you can apply by using your english proficiency certificate as well so you can get it from your college or university if you are applying for bachelor and master so english language certificate you can submit your ielts or any other certificate if you have but if you don't have then you can submit your english proficiency certificate that you can get from your college or university so this is optional next is any other document required so you can check the basic criteria by using the program for which you are applying but the main documents are only these next for master degree program the documents are almost same you can check this one also next if a student want to apply for medicine and surgery or for mbbs degree program in italy then you can follow these links to study how to apply otherwise i will add my video into the description you can watch it to study mbbs in italy so for mbbs the required documents are little bit different you need extra documents now let's talk about the main thing how to apply for this university so as i told you before here is the link to apply for university of padua here you can see the university of padua so for this purpose first of all you have to click at sign in or register here you can see the option of register at top right corner click here now this type of page will be open if you don't have any login details for this website then you have to click on i am a new applicant simply click here now you have to enter your gmail id enter your gmail id and then click on register now here you can see our pin code has been sent to your email id simply open your gmail okay so i have received the email open and here you can see click to register now you have to click at this now enter your four digit pin that you have received copy and write here now click on verify now you have to enter your full name then select a password and click on register save your data and here you can see your details your full name is entered your gmail id is entered now you have to enter your mobile phone number it's optional then you have to select your citizenship If you have a reference code you can enter otherwise leave it next we have to mark these two options then click on continue okay so here now you can see your name at the top right corner it's mean now you have been registered for this university at this website and here at the left side you can see the option of my applications now you have to click on my application you don't have any application so click on continue first of all you have to find your program so from here let's suppose i am going to apply for master's degree then you have to select your academic year i will select 2025 only then you can select any study language so for international students english option is best select english now click on find program 
so here you will see the list of programs that are available and you can apply with the deadline from here you have to check your department for which you are going to apply so there are many departments available so as i selected physics so let's suppose i am going to apply for physics students now for this purpose here you can see the application deadline is 2nd february and to apply you have to simply click on apply now when you will click here this type of page will be open for your application the first thing is priority you can read it and here you can see program is physics master's degree full time department of physics and astronomy and the university is in padua the subject will be in english and the deadline is 2nd february so after reading all of this next is profile option now you have to enter your data related to your profile i will suggest you must read this data it will increase your knowledge about the scholarship and application now scroll down and enter your data given name your family name then enter your passport number then enter your passport issuance date then enter expiry date of your passport then enter country of issue then issued by here you can write for example republic of pakistan or your country name next you have to select your gender then citizenship then enter date of birth then select your country of birth then place of birth here you have to write your city name now select your country of residence now from here you have to choose the option for example please mark the correct answer that applies to you only one possible answer so from here i will select the first option because i am a non european citizen residing outside italy thus i do not have a valid italian residence permit so if you have italian residence permit and you are non european citizen then you can select second option but for most students the first option is the best next is formal photo here you have to attach your picture simply click at this option and attach your picture then here is the criteria of your picture next after entering this data go back to second tab that is contacts scroll down and here you have to enter your address first of all enter your mobile phone number if you have skype id you can add otherwise leave it then enter your street address then enter your host number then enter your city province or region then you have to write your postal code and then you have to select your country okay after completing this step go back to education tab here scroll down and if you are applying for bachelor then you have to enter your school degree details and your college details if you are applying for master then you have to enter your school details college details and your university details okay so here if you are applying for bachelor's degree then you have to add your college degree details only if you are applying for master's degree then you have to enter your college degree details and your university degree details as well for example here simply select on level of education so first of all if you are applying for bachelor's degree then you have to select only secondary school diploma and enter your college details enter your graduation when you finish your college degree then name of your college then nominal length of program so it is usually 2 years then you have to write your program name for example intermediate then you have to select your country then awarded qualification or degree so it will be mentioned on your document then study location enter your city name then diploma issue date if you uh, it will also be uh, mentioned on your certificate or degree you can write it then study language for example english then gpa or awarded average grade or you can write your numbers as it is then you have to enter your maximum gpa or maximum marks okay after entering your college details if you are applying for masters degree then you have to enter details of your bachelors degree similarly enter all of the other details for your bachelors degree information okay after entering this you have to select please select your entry qualification country only one possible answer so scroll down and here you have to select your country okay after filling this data next tab is languages now you have to enter your language details so from here select your native language for example urdu or english then if you want to insert new language you can add for example you know english language or any other language you can add two or three 
नेक्स्ट इज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टेस्ट डेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव गिवन एनी टेस्ट आई टॉपिक और एनी अदर टेस्ट यू कैन एंटर द टेस्ट डेट ओनली बट दिस इज ऑप्शनल नेक्स्ट इज डॉक्यूमेंट्स डेट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग सो डॉक्यूमेंट्स डेट यू विल एड विल बी विजिबल हेयर आफ्टर एंटिंग योर डाटा फॉर दिस पर्पज यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन चेक लिस्ट वैन यू विल क्लिक ऑन चेक लिस्ट सक्रॉल डाउन एंड हेयर यू कैन सी द लिस्ट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज बैचलर्स डिग्री डिप्लोमा ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ बैचलर्स डिग्री डिप्लोमा इफ इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इफ योर डॉक्यूमेंट इज नॉट इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज आर इटालियन लैंग्वेज दैन यू हैव टू ट्रांसलेट योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स पासपोर्ट सी वी दैन यू हैव टू पे योर एप्लीकेशन फी एंड अटैच डॉक्यूमेंट प्रूफ ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रोफिशेंसी मोटिवेशन लेटर अकेडमिक ट्रांसक्रिप्ट ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स लीगलाइजेशन ऑफ बैचलर्स डिग्री डिप्लोमेंट ट्रांसक्रिप्ट ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स एंड रेजिडेंस परमिट स्टेटस द डॉक्यूमेंट डेट यू हैव यू कैन अटैच इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी डॉक्यूमेंट यू कैन लीव इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू करंटली यू डोंट हैव एनी रेजिडेंस परमिट स्टेटस यू कैन लीव इट After getting residence permit status, you can update your application. Okay, so how to attach these documents? I will explain one. For example, you are applying for, for example, let's see passport. Click here. From here, first of all, you have to select. I have attached my valid passport. Here you can write passport, or your document name. Next, click here at this option and select your document. So from here, I will select my passport. Okay. So when you will select your passport again, click on I have attached my valid passport. When you will attach your passport, go back, cross from here, and here you can see it's marked as yes or correct. Okay. So it will be marked as yes. Similarly, you have to add all of your documents. and when you will add your document you have to change the status and it, it will be marked as yes okay so this this is the list of required documents next is click on other and in other you have to add your medical information then you have to add your additional requests for example if you have an additional requests or needs please describe them to you can write it here next is information source please let us know how you find the information so this is important you have to select any option from here for example you got information from university website you can select it here next is special need if you have any special need for example i will contact the admission and welcome unit about this issue then you can select this option if you have no issue then simply click on none how will you fi uh, finance your studies at the university of padwa so of course you are applying for scholarship you have to select scholarship option from here okay so then this will be completed so after entering all of your data then you have to click on submit so you have to recheck your application again from here when you fill the data you can click on save as a draft so your application will be saved as well after filling all of the data simply click on submit when you will click on submit your application will be submitted you have to pay the application fee as well that was 30 euro after paying the application fee your application will be forwarded to the university so this is the procedure to apply for this scholarship if you find any kind of query related to this scholarship or application you can comment me i will be there to reply you so wish you very very best of luck see you next video